Uh, at South Massa, we have a Department of Clinical Research which you launched off a couple of years ago. Over time, the department has evolved and now has become a robust program at South Massa. We then started launching off our annual Clinic Research Day where we have invited scientists from across the country who come and present the data, present the research. In that way, we are able to bring academia to South Massa and raise the bar for research and academics at South Massa. So we've had a number of presentations ranging from surgery to medicine. If we were to treat all the people who come in, we would hope to eliminate hepatitis C in the U.S. by 2030. It seems highly unlikely that's going to happen related to cost. So for the first time, we have a disease that we know we can eliminate. We know we can cure. We just can't get access to the people. And then we thought, well, why reinvent the wheel? Why don't we just take some of the existing designs from cardiology and try to apply it to the body? So the bene benefits of genetic testing is that it gives us information to help in making decisions about screening and prevention. The triage and the high suspicion in the, tr in the elderly trauma patient, they just don't have, you don't have that luxury of time. We've often been able to catch up a 20 or 25 year old who got into a little bit of shock and we've brought them out. With the elderly, that's often an end result, you know, an end game result. Barrett's, um, it's very controversial in terms of the, the screening and the diagnosis just because it's about just as many people have symptoms with Barrett's as those who have Barrett's that are asymptomatic. The, the posters are in reference to the research contest that we have for the surgical residents, the medical residents, the students, and the, and the nurses. We have a lot of research being carried out at South Massa Hospital and these posters are then judged and based on the quality of, of the papers they are awarded different prizes. The annual clinic day was a tremendous success and we will continue to evolve and grow this program next year.